Good morning, John. Good morning. Uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Yeah, it's my pleasure. And you were here on the Technology Focus Day um, on one of the panels. Perhaps you could just give us a quick overview of the panel and uh, what uh, came out of it. Certainly. Uh, this is actually my third DGI here in London. It was my first opportunity to speak, and it was a part of the panel that we had on Monday morning for the Tech Day, talking about new ideas and innovation in the uh, geospatial uh, industry. And so, what I focused on from Digital Globe is what we're doing with our constellation of satellites. We've got three satellites that provide uh, revisit around the globe every day. Uh, but we're also ad adding additional ground stations um, to our ground segment, which means we can collect and download imagery much faster with those additional ground stations, uh, as fast as 12 hours or, or better to produce the imagery and provide it after we've collected it. Um, but we also talked about our unique capabilities with our eight bands, uh, with Worldview 2 and soon to be Worldview 3. There are various band combinations that can uh, pull out specific information out of an image, certain combinations that help us classify and identify um, what's going on or the change that is occurring uh, in, an, in an image. So that's pretty powerful. And we're just coming off of our eight band challenge uh, where we announced the results of some research uh, relating to that. So we talked about the technology and the research around that. And then what we talked about is how we're using online services to deliver the imagery that we're collecting from the constellation and how we're able to to plug in to any open geospatial consortium standard that is a, an application that can use online services and then use that imagery that we've collected very quickly, processed, and then downlink, make it viewable in, say, ERDAS or Esri tools or BAE, uh, Google Earth or Bing, any application uh, that takes an OGC standard. And then a user can very quickly look at that imagery and, and begin their analysis or the exploitation they need to, they need to do to get to the answers needed uh, for their assessments. Well, talking about standards then, because this seems to have been the real buzzword uh, of this year's DGI, that particularly, obviously, people like the OGC are talking about, and as you were saying, you can plug in to people that are already OGC compliant. Mm -hmm. How compliant is the industry? Well, um, because there's such demand in the market for, for open source, it's a way of reducing costs, but it's also a way to integrate a lot of different solutions without custom development. It saves time, it saves money, it improves on data management, so it's in the best interest of everybody in the community to adopt those standards uh, and able to make it easier to integrate bits of information, whether it's a, a map, an underlying a bit of map information or vector data, overlaying imagery on top of that or bringing in third party information, say news reports or geo RSS feeds. So uh, when you walk around and take a look at all the booths, everybody talks about open standards and being able to adapt their offerings uh, to a specific uh, requirement that a customer has. And are you actually finding then that the, 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 the uptake of standards is as good as you would like to see or is there some room to go? Oh no, I think it's very good. It's just a matter of adoption and implementing that. Uh, for those organizations or vendors who aren't currently supporting a specific standard, they're talking about it and they have it on their roadmap, so they're going to add that capability in order to integrate with other partners. So where would you say the key challenges are, both in, in general terms and for you as a, as a company? Well, you know, it's a, it's a difficult environment around budgets, and so folks look at what, uh, what the most important, um, what the greatest value that they can get from a particular solution. and so. Anything that somebody can do to get to an answer much faster uh, in, an easy, in an easy way, say, provide an easy button to, to some kind of answer, then I think that's where a lot of the attention will go. So, yeah, budgets are always an issue, uh, but I think adding a, a valuable option to folks who, who see how quickly they can do the work they need to do, then, uh, then they're, they're, they're happy with that. Uh, so, finally, then, um, what are you most looking to get out of uh, this year? Uh, well, it's always good to come to these events like DJI because we meet with folks who are using imagery every day and it's a better understanding of how we can adapt what we do to better fit into their workflows and help them solve the questions that they have. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank and, you. And um, enjoy the rest of the show. Indeed.